Right, Anna, are we off for the uh, big reveal at Villeneuve? No, we're going to uh, Brocant. Uh, where? In Montségur. Oh. You're a cheeky thing, keeping them all waiting till next vlog for the big reveal. Well, it's taking a bit longer and you yeah. you need to take it easy. Yeah. So, have we got have we got all the filming stuff? Uh, yeah. We got one kid because the other one's at a birthday party. Check. Change of nappy and whatnot. Check. Milk. Check. Furry um, unicorn stick. Furry. Well, we have our little unicorn. Check. Here. Hey, unicorn. No. It's my oh. <laughs> right. Okay. Let's get going. Nice sunny day. Let's go for an outdoor brocant fair. Count Maras on it. How many can we see? We have arrived in Montségur, the only thing, there is no one here and the last people are just packing up everything. So we're gonna go somewhere else that is nearby and hopefully we'll see lots of goodies. So this is where they usually have the brocant but they're just packing up and it's, well it's empty. It's a beautiful Basque town. Yes it is. Well, they do they do one here very very often so we'll just come back another time we are at the first stand and uh, the person looking after this stand is called uh, Vittorio he he does walks to raise money, but he also writes books and he's 80 years old and what a lovely man. Ed is looking at the tools there. Yep, they're a little bit old, but really interesting. These old wooden plane. And you might think that the blade's a little bit rusty. No problem. Because you've got a, a little less stone sharpener. So obviously that's full of water and it sharpened the plane for you or anything else. Uh... Emma's gonna demonstrate. Go on, Emma. <laughs> and over here we have a drying rack. Once again in the at the end of this one we'll pop on the vlog about us making a um, glass chandelier out of a wine rack uh, so i want to upscale this i think a lamp on the floor would look really nice Ed. i mean i thought like hanging but on the floor it was looking spectacular i mean even here I think she might like the work. She just went right next to it. 
but there's also lots of things there which I'm gonna go film and see. Come on, Emma. Daddy? Make a silver plate now. We haven't found happiness yet, but look how beautiful this place is with the wisteria. And I think they're doing like an like an open door. Op it's a toy, so I'm keeping Emma well away. <laughs> So we've been around everywhere and I have found something that I think will be useful and I like. If only Emma would let me film. I got you! I got you! It's something that can be used for oysters. I think like you could have like a, a basket like full of oysters and then everyone could take their own in their little boat and just eat it. I think it's adorable. I think that's one of the things that is pretty useful and I would use it. So this is it and the gentleman is doing it from 30 euros to 20 euros, so not bad. So there wasn't much in the way of antiques or anything there, was there? No, not much, but... Really nice little walk we had there with Emma though. Yeah. Really nice people. Yes, very, very sweet. A few English people too. Mm-hmm. Um, what I really liked is there was an English lady going around buying all the tap that you'd normally buy. Oh, you cheeky thing. She's just in front of you every time. She was, because she got those uh, candlesticks. She managed to get them just before me. She managed to get, uh, what was it, like a plate that I would get. Like a display every plate. Everything you'd have got, she got before you. She did. But I did manage to get something. Yeah. Yeah. A little yeah. oyster boat. Yeah, with lots of little oyster boats in. So, I think there was 13 pieces, wasn't there? Mm-hmm. My favourite well, number. It smells very good, but I don't like oysters, so... I don't I know, know what I'm going to do know. with it. Well, I think it's going to look good. Well, yeah. you, did, you did say you could use uh, uh, use it for Saint-Jacques. Um, yeah, or mussels. Saint-Jacques is... Scallops. Scallops, yes. I think we should, whilst we're here, because we're only five minutes around the corner, I think we should go to see a chateau that Mum and Dad almost bought before they bought their gorse. Yeah, and you were with them when they were viewing it, weren't you? Yeah. Um, a very long time ago. It's a very long time ago and it's a very nice chateau mm -hmm. surrounded by apple orchards. Oh. So let's go. Yes. I shall, when we get there, I'll, I'll explain the story.
So back in 2001, my parents almost bought this and they got gazumped at the last minute. Gazumped means obviously somebody comes along and just paid the price that, that the, they were asking. We'd negotiated the price down. There was a big problem though with this place and that was the apple orchards. Well, mum and dad said if they were gonna buy it, they would have ripped out the, you know, bought the farmer out and ripped out the apple orchards too. So all of these outbuildings have been split up with the farm and the chateau had very little land around it too. Oh. But it looks like what we plan to do has now finally happened. I mean, we've had 20 years on, aren't we? So yeah, it looks like they must have bought the outbuildings. And as you saw when we drove, drove in there, there was all these apple kind of containers. Yes. That was your view from the chateau, it was a mass of plastic. Either that or it's time to replant the orchard. And so we just come as it happens when they're replanting the orchards. Okay. But the, the farmer was not an easy guy to deal with. And you don't look back, you only look forward, don't you? Yeah. Beautiful place. Though. Oh yes, really, really nice. So all this was apple orchards, Anna. All of this right up to the chateau. But they might be planting something else here. This looks like they've planted something. Yeah. So maybe they haven't got rid of the farmer. Well, no, maybe they've changed what the farmer is doing. So it's a little bit brick a bracky outside. There's inside and a hangar around the corner. Just thought we'd stop and give you a little treat on the way home. Good idea. I've got a question for you. Me or the viewers? Go on. What do you think this is? I think I should know that, no? Is it something to... for pilier? So like poles to tighten them? For sealing? No? What is it? I didn't think you were there almost. So you put a, uh, a post in the ground. Uh-huh. Bang! Bang! Ah! Okay, well I misunderstood. Not, not yeah, but you were doing a good imitation. Oh, those are cute. Oh, that's a shame, the glass. Look how cheap, 10 euro for the, for the two. Suppose you could have it without the glass. I don't think I want for but look at these. I think they're really good things here. And the chandelier. Are you gonna put the car on? Here. In it goes. Okay. Emma's waiting for you. She, she was. You're very kind, but no. I don't think she's touching anything. She's being really good at I have to say the prices are really good here. Look at this for holding your eyes, five euros. Not bad at all. I love all these glasses. I mean, how cute are these? And they have all the different sizes. These are really sweet. And the carafe isn't bad either, 10 euros for a carafe. Nice. 10 euros for the full lot of these. Are you a gendarme? Is that gendarme oh, Ed? Here, young lady. You know how I wanted to make tiramisu? And I wanted to do it in individual cups. These seem a bit big, but I think there's like 10 of them for 15 euros. Might be able to, or is that too big for an individual tiramisu? What do you think? You'd have to say yes to my. I think I could get through like three quarters of it. I suppose I don't have to feel it. It's just like you could put the boudoir, the lady fingers. I think I is could that get through that much? Yeah, is that yeah. a nice individual size one, or is that too big for an individual? No, oh, that's good. I think there's. This in there. I'll have a look if there's anything else, because otherwise there's these nice ones up there which look like Baccarat. They look a bit like the ones we saw at the antique sale. Is that a tick? Is it a tick? I don't know. I, I like them. That's a tick, I'm pretty sure. Well, if that's the case, we could get those. Yeah, well, there's only four. Ah. 
I think about this crystal, because of the sun. Oh, this crystal, definitely. To show there's just four of them, because there's others of the same set. Uh, got something fairly interesting over there. Okay, I'll come and have a look. I'm just... Oh, this is nice. I think, is this for like cheeses or cakes? This is beautiful, actually. I've done this the wrong way around. I shouldn't have taken you to the uh, jumble sale first. I should have bought you here first. Well, this is nice. I think oh, that yeah. was... And then you wouldn't have wanted anything at the jumble sale. I know. Even that is nice, although I don't need the big blue vase. For 80 years, that looks good. Even this is nice, 10 euros. Look at the ladies here. Oh, Grace Kelly and Irene of Monaco. Oh, look at this. This is nice, even for cakes. There's a lot of things I like here, and you shouldn't have brought me here. Oh, look at this is funny. This is an interesting section because it's everything at one euro. Wow, this is full. Full to the brim even. I think there might be yeah, some things that could be useful. There's more over there. Goodness. Fast Dobby, I knew that. Left behind you. Count Maris on it. How many can we see? Now let's see if we can get some decent yes, stuff in here because it looks a lot better here. Yes, it does. I like the old, what is it, weighing machines or scales? Old fires. Come on, Emma. Emma likes those two pots there. Look at the old Max. I'm not gonna say anything, I'm just gonna leave this here. Obviously not looking at it, but look at this beautiful chest. 50 euros. Okay, could do with a new cover, but for, for 50 euros, that is not bad. And all tools here. What is this? Automatic piano. And we have the songs that it plays. Oh. This is nice. And even like the two vases here. Very nice. And the price of the automatic piano? 1,300 euros. I'm sure there could be negotiation going on here. Just... I know it is. I know. It's pian uh, automatic piano. I love this for holding wine. I have to say, Emma bought something. Her first buy. <laughs> Bike, but oh, there's a nice lamp. I'm try to find the price 80 euros for this lamp. Thirty euros for this bowl and vase. I think this is very nice. Someone's house turned into a it's massive. <laughs> it goes on. Oh, this is the clothes. Wow. That's a funky light. Wow. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Oh, this is nice. I like the pink. 55 euros for this one. Oh, these are cool. 15 euros each. Oh, 
It is huge. I like this little chair here. 45 years for the little chair. Nice. Let's see how much they are. 120 for the chair and 25 for the little stool. Not bad at all. I think I've been this way. This is massive. Another area. Ed? I wonder whether Ed and Emma are here or they're somewhere else. This is massive. Look at this. I think they're here because I can hear a little hummingbird. It is huge. I don't even know where to look first. Look at this. Oh, all those baskets. There they are. I thought I lost you both. It's huge. Huge. Yeah, huge. Yes, it is. Yes, and I bet it's expensive. 1650 they were old prices. It is so big. I mean, have you been everywhere? Uh, I've not even tried to go over there, but it's all pretty burpy still. I mean, oh my goodness. It continues. This is huge. To go through this would need a few days. Oh, but they have those pots with flour and coffee and tea spices 25 30 i don't know whether oh it's a set one set is 30 and one set is 25. how does that compare to the other ones what do you think cheaper but the thing is they're not not the same no these aren't bad i think we're gonna have to call it a day though Yes, this mirror is about 60 euros for this. Yay! Yay, we're going. Yay. I just wanted to look at the baskets here. I can just go past them. Just it continues. How sweet is this? And I think it's 45 euros. Emma's even looking for antiques. How cute are these tanks of cheeses? Pont Evêque, Camembert, Brie, Chèvre, Roquefort. But the sweetest thing is this card sent by a gentleman to tell his beloved that uh, he's still thinking of her. Aussi loin que je sois, je pense toujours à vous, un amoureux sincère. I'm not sure on the name. So, like, as far as I am, I still think of you. Uh, I sincerely love you pretty much. And it's for Gassio. Hmm. Or something, Anna. A handle. One down, four to go. Yeah. So I found something else in really good value for money here. I'll show it everyone, but I can't get it. It's just too heavy. Come on, boo boo. Come on. It's a cast iron radiator. You do know how to make a girl dream, eh? Well, it's flowing, so it's got all flower ah. pattern on it. Now it's down at 100 euros, need to re repaint it, but it's worth a lot. Maybe not as much as the one we've got, but it will now, but it's worth a lot. At least five, six hundred done. Come on, let's go. 